In this lesson, we're going to review contents of the VBA project properties. The typical use case of project properties option in VBA is to make changes to the VBA option, such as name or description change, adding a help file, adding conditional arguments, or protecting your VBA project. To enable the project properties, simply go to the Tools tab and select Project Properties. You can also enable project properties by going to the Project Explorer, displayed on the left side of the VB screen, and, and right-click on the objects and select VBA Project Properties option. The Project Properties window will now open. You will notice that there are two tabs, General and Protection. In the General tab, you can set the project name. By default, it is a VBA project. It is always good advice to name your projects in a way that you can better manage your files and later identify them. As we progress through the course, you're going to start feeling more confident with using VBA. If this is the case, you'll have a lot of VBA files stored on your computer. Whenever you have to refer to them again, it is highly recommended that you use a naming convention that allows you to easily track these files. Similarly, you can also give a description to your project. This can help you track the VBA project that exists in the first place. You have the option to upload a help file. This is helpful if you have a series of VBA tools and syntax that you've created and customized and you want to create a help topic that you can refer to as a way of giving guidance rather than having a whole library to search in. You can also add conditional compilation arguments. Arguments are defined when you use functions or procedures in VBA coding. The protection tab lets you protect your VBA project. You can lock your project for viewing so that it cannot be amended. You can set a password to protect it. Please note that if you lose your password, there's no way that you can view your VBA code ever again. Therefore, it's good practice to write your password down so that it's easy to remember. You'll have multiple VBA files, so it's good practice to have a password naming convention as well. And that's it. You'll later find that project properties is very simple, and although it's optional, it's highly desirable to use so that you document your VBA code in a way that you can refer to them later if needed. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe from you. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel, check out these videos above. And don't forget to check out our website, commercecurve.com, where we have lots of in-depth finance and accounting courses available with full training workbooks. All of our courses come with complete workbooks of lessons, examples, pre-built financial models, and training video. Hope to see you there.